What's up, everybody? We are back with Key Kwan. Give it up! We are all 80s all week as we honor the decade of my birth and the lead up to my big 4-0, y'all. I'm very excited. And while it's cool to self-indulge a little, um, I also really want to use this week to celebrate things that are near and dear to my heart. Obviously, nothing has shaped my life more than music. Growing up in Texas is a close second, though. Uh, what's up, Lone Star State? I see you. Um, our next guest is taking hundreds of underserved kids in Dallas under his wing, not only giving them serious music opportunities in marching bands and drum lines, he's also helping them secure college scholarships. From Urban Dreams Music and Arts Program, let's welcome Dion Johnson. <laughs> Great to meet a fellow Texan, Miki. Hi, hi, Kelly. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Hi, thank Kia. you. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. So you've been in music your whole life, right? Yes. Uh, it started when I was about eight years old. I used to watch my aunt. She was in a band at Lane College. It's a historically black college university. Yeah. Uh, she was a majorette in the band there. And then uh, I seen a TV special on MTV of an organization called the Jackie Robinson Steppers. They're now called the Brooklyn Steppers. And they pretty much like functioned themselves after HBCU bands. Mm -hmm. And they did all the pop tunes. They played like various instruments. It was a group of kids. And I was like, I really wanted to be a part of something like that. They didn't have anything like that where I was growing up. Yeah. So from there, that's where I became interested in music. I started playing saxophone clarinet, yeah. trumpet, you trombone, sexy man with a and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was like, yeah, I really need to be a part of something like that. And that led my path to go to Grambling State University, where I was in a member of the World Fame Tiger Marching Band. That's crazy cool. <laughs> I love that you started with a saxophone. That's amazing. Yeah. So when when did you get Urban Dreams? Like when did you get that off the ground? Where did that idea come from? So after um, I finished undergrad, I got my master's and my doctorate in higher ed, and I worked in higher ed for about six years. And this mm. it not it wasn't what I really wanted to do. I wanted to do something that like I can incorporate music, can make a community impact, and also get kids to go to college. So mm. I started Urban Dreams, and I was like, you know, I got to do something where. I can work with these kids individually, one-on-one. -on -one. And a lot of these band programs, people don't know, but a lot of these band programs have about 250 students with one band director. So they're not able to oh, make wow. an impact on all the students and differentiate their instruction. Because so I, many kids. Yeah, so many kids. <laughs> so I wanted to do something where I could make an impact and give back to those directors. Absolutely, because there's a lot of kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, tell us more about how the program works. So um, we pretty much, we focus on our values, which is showmanship, determination, and grit. And we have one-on-one uh, -on -one individualized instruction. We provide those students those rigorous learning opportunities so they can in turn go back and strengthen their local band programs. Yeah. So we have uh, other programming as well, such as our Black Dynasty Drumline, where the students can participate and strengthen their craft so they can go back and be a part of their regular band. And with that, we provide them performance opportunities and they perform at like different community events, yeah. like semi-pro games, they perform at uh, various parades and things like that. Yeah. And then uh, also what we do is we, we focus on academics as well. Mm -hmm. So we get the students to like apply for colleges, apply for scholarships, we help them with financial aid, things like that. That's and then incredible. not only do we do that, we go back and, well, I make sure that the students are actually doing what they're supposed to do when they get there. So, like, mm -hmm. they have a pathway to graduate. Yeah, absolutely. And a goal. Yeah, and people a that goal. believe in them. And a possibility, like, opportunity. A lot of kids are like, what do I care? The end goal is to graduate. Yeah, absolutely. Did you, Key, did you ever have any, like, impact from music, like, on your life? Are you oh, yeah, yeah. Music? I love music. I'm, I'm not yeah. a good singer, though. I, I can't yeah. dance and sing, but I love... Uh, oh my God, I, you're my favorite person to watch at a karaoke bar. <laughs> 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 that's, my, that's my favorite person. Um, okay, so being a part of Urban Dreams can be life-changing for kids, y'all. We have one of Dion's students on the line right now and wants to share how it's impacted her. So everybody say hi to Cameron. <laughs> hi, Cameron. Hey, hey, Cameron. Hey, Mr. Dion. Hey, Cameron. Oh, Mr. Dion, that's cute. Okay, <laughs> so tell us about your experience with Urban Dreams Music and Arts Program. I started playing trumpet when I was 12 years old, and I met Mr. Dion when I was a sophomore, and I found out about Urban Dreams during 2020. Um, when I found out about the program, I was very blessed and fortunate that I had that opportunity to continue my music, especially during 2020, because it was stressful and very chaotic. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Dia has always been a positive role model, not just through music, but in my personal life as well as academics. Mm -hmm. And for that, I say thank you very much because now I can say you have made a 
major impact on my life. And now I can say that I will be attending Salem College in North Carolina. Yay! That's so sweet. And it's, it's, so, it's so interesting because people don't correlate this all the time, but it, you know, anything, when you do anything, especially something you're passionate about, and you, you follow through, and you make sure the kids follow through, and you make sure that there's a goal and it's achieved, that, that transfers on into life. Like, you know, that translates into you being a successful human that's bold and confident and knows you can achieve a challenge. It, you know, it's not just about the music. It's like socially, it's really good for you as well. Um, well, we reached out to our friends at HEB in Texas and as part of their Be the Change initiative, they're increasing support to organizations doing meaningful work in diversity, education, equity, and inclusion. That's why they're donating $10,000 to Urban Dreams oh, Music. Thank you so much. Yes, we love it.